Hi, I'm Trevor Allen from Aberrant Behaviors. Today, I'm here to talk to you about something very serious and very important. Don't die. It's a bad thing. Dying ruins lives. 56,597,034 people a year die from death. That's way too high. There is no cure for death. Don't let peer pressure from those who die affect you. And parents, teach your kids not to die. So please, don't let your life end in death. Love that deer. Oh, I'm gonna fill it with love. <laughs> <laughs> Together. 
Maybe there's one that has uses both of them. Maybe that'll work. All my favorite love songs have to do with hunting. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go ahead and ask the next question. Okay. Um, bachelor number three. Like, where are you? Where are you from? I am from the shadows. Down at night. Right with your neck. It'll go away, and then you'll get a me star in the head. <laughs> Who's talking? You cannot see me. I am like a shadow. I'm so creeped out right now. I'm going to try some questions. Maybe it'll go away. Okay, uh, Bachelorette number one. Um, I don't know. How long would you have to be dating before you said I loved you? Ooh. Long enough to find out if you've lost. <laughs> I like that. She's clean. <laughs> lost. I don't. Oh, floss. Floss. Oh, that yeah. makes more sense. Yeah, because it rolled right through. I could have seen. Yeah, I see where you. Came. Okay. Um, bachelor number two. Yep. Where Where are you from? Where am I from? I'm uh, from the country, sort of. Actually, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not really from the country. I'm I'm new to this. Don't. Oh God. Okay. I'm not from the country. Okay. I I don't have the accent, but. You know what? I, I work I work I work damn hard. I do. I do and you know what? That's that's all I can say. <laughs> oh, I'm also by the way, I'm from California. I did, I actually never answered your question. Huh. That's all he needs to say is hard That's, that's it. <laughs> I, work hard. I work hard. I work hard at my job. It's I know it's a bit mm -hmm. people are like, uh mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I could still you know what? I could still mount you on my wall. <laughs> if you died, I would stuff you and mount you on my wall. That man is a poet. <laughs> I, I would love you forever. This has nothing to do with your question, but no. I just thought I should let you know because I don't know what your next question is. Okay, he's a talker? Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that, but uh, bachelor number three... There is no bachelor number three. What are you talking about? <laughs> um... <laughs> the chair is empty. Um, I didn't see missed. what happened. Oh my gosh, it missed. It missed. <laughs> All right. Um, Definitely missed. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? I do go everywhere in the world. Quickly and fastly and swiftly. Wherever I go, I will fight lots of monsters for your love. I will kick them. <laughs> I think I saw something. <laughs> I don't think you're afraid. Anybody hear that noise? <laughs> I'm like a whisper, like a woodchuck. <laughs> Swiftly from tree to tree. I can, I can work with woodchucks. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my, my brain is uh, fried due to math, so can I just pick one? The questions are really good. Yeah, sure, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going on. All right, you're the host. I mean, I know. <laughs> it's upsetting. Go okay. Ahead, pick one. Oh, I should say, pick me. <laughs> okay. Um, no, pick me. I will back to you for her love. I will. I will pick number one because she sounds like a dentist, and I I like that. Okay. Why didn't you like the other two? I didn't like number two because he reminds me of Dick Cheney. <laughs> And um, bachelor number three sounds like a ninja, and so I didn't. He does sound like a ninja. Jeez, I don't see that. That's so weird. And I so you put that on his application, dude. You think I would have read that? Jeez. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, bachelor. Bachelor, bachelor number one. All right. All right. Well, congratulations. <laughs> on the show. on one episode of Full House. Don't look it up, just trust me. When your child has questions about sex, don't send it to a stranger or teacher. They need to hear it from you. Even if you call a penis a tallywhacker or a vagina a sideways smile. So remember, talk to your kids about sex. A lot. 
even if they try to change the subject, just say, yeah, anyway, and go right to talking about sex. Do it for the children. last night. I was laying it to him. Man, they better give me an amateur plumber's license or something because I was beating the shit out of that. Woo! Oh, man. Oh, I was laying them pipes. Laying those pipes. What, what? And you know what I did, son? You know what I did? With this? You know, let me, hold on. Let me just tell you now. I wasn't being nice to her. I wasn't. I wasn't being nice. I was beating on it. I was being mean to it. I was beating it like a dog who don't hunt. And you know what I did, son? You know what I did when I was doing that? I was howling. I was howling to the moon! Did you hear me, son? Did you hear me howling? Yeah. Howling to the moon while I was spanking that ass. Spank that ass. Woo! Spank it! Oh, baby. And you know what happened while I was howling and spanking that ass? I was drilling for oil. And I hit me a gusher. Woo! I hit me a gusher and I made it rain! Can you smell it, son? Can you smell your mama's rain? Yeah. Yeah. So Smith, there you go. There you go. Yeah. That's nasty. Woo! You know what else I did last night? You know what? I, look at me, boy. Look at me. Don't even look away. It's okay. I'm your daddy. I gave your mama a baby. I gave your mama a baby. Yeah. Put it right up in there. You know what I did? I named him. His name is Rufus. Say hello to your brother Rufus. Roo, roo. Hi, Rufus. You're eating breakfast with your brother Rufus right now at the table. How you feel about that? Yeah. That's gangster. That's gangster <laughs> shit right there. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Julie, can you hand me the butter? <laughs> Thinking of telling people you're having a baby? Don't, bitch! You probably know me from my role as for which I won many awards that you have heard of. No one wants to hear about your baby. I used to have a friend. Now I don't, because she wouldn't stop talking about her baby. She was like, blah, blah, I have a baby, and blah, blah, she's your sister. Nobody needs to know all that. Whatever happened to mystery? I am so exhausted. All this work I've been doing, Plus, helping my sister with her wedding stuff, it's sucking the energy right out of me. Are you sure something else isn't bothering you? Mm, no, I think it's just the wedding. Why, do I seem weird or something? You seem to be carrying a heavy burden. What the hell does that mean? Kelly, I know. Know what? I know you're pregnant. <laughs> what? I'm not pregnant. Where did you hear that? Because whoever said it is lying. I am not pregnant. <laughs> you don't believe me. Really? Fine. I'll prove it. Um, oh, here we go. Coffee. You're not supposed to drink coffee if you're pregnant, right? Well, look, okay? Ah. Uh. See? Mmm. Mmm. No baby. Mmm. Coffee. <laughs> no baby. <sighs> okay, um, what about, what about a cigarette, okay? You're not supposed to smoke around a baby, right? So let me just light one of these up and just show you that there is no baby, okay? Mmm. See? Ah, no baby. Mm. So, what do you say now? <sighs> okay. Um, you still don't believe me? Let's see. What do I got in here? Ugh. Booze. Okay. You can't drink when you're pregnant, right? Well, 
Here we go. We're mm. Mm. So what's up now, Julie? <sighs> really? Really? Um, oh, I don't care. I, I don't mind. I'm actually having fun. Let's just keep going, okay? I happen to have some heroin here in my bag, okay? <laughs> now, if I were pregnant, okay, would I do this? Huh? You wanna you wanna help me? Just kind of twirl it in okay. and then and then tie it. Thank you. <sighs> say now, Julie, huh? You know now <laughs> that I'm that I'm not pregnant, right? <sighs> Fine, Julie. Fine. Well, let, you want to take this thing to the highest level? Well, let's just do that. Let's just knock over a liquor store. Huh? Like, why don't we just why don't we just kick a two-year-old in the teeth, okay? You you see those stairs over there? Well, watch me, cuz I'm just going to go on a little trip. Have you known? I'm famous. Shut up. Yes, I am. Why do you have low self esteem? Is it because you're a loser? Well, you shouldn't be a loser. You should be a winner. 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 And how do you become a winner? By having positive self esteem. My positive self esteem is big, fat, and three inches thick. If you worked out your self esteem, yours too could be as big as mine. So don't be a loser, be a winner. Winner, winner. Last time, winner. From time to time, we as humans can have our self-esteem tested by those around us. Often we develop low self-esteem from all the negative comments that are thrown our way. What Ben here is going to demonstrate is a new workout developed specifically to strengthen positive self-esteem. Oh, oh, I'm a good person. Oh, women like me as a friend. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my mother says I'll grow into my feet. Uh. Ben is building up an initial layer of self-esteem to help withstand the barrage of negative comments that are on their way. Now the exercise begins. Ben and his team are ready. Okay. Woo! Bring it! What kind of circus did you get fired from? Oh, your honesty is refreshing. Ugh. Hey, look at the fat guy in the retard outfit. Thank you for your opinion, ma'am. Oh. oh my god, you're so fat. Oh, I'm working on it. It's glandular. Oh. Hey, they got a uh, dancing hippopotamus and exercise outfit over here. Oh, but I'm a very good dancer. Oh, oh damn. With a body like that, you must have one ugly mother. She does my resemblance. Oh, god. The exercise now over, his trainers help him recover from the exhausting workout. They will give him booze and compliments for the next hour until he feels better. Later he will do this exercise again and hopefully hold out a little bit longer. You know, no one ever said that having positive self-esteem was going to be easy. You know, but you got to want it and you got to fight for it. Because if you don't, you're just, you're just a big... You're a big loser, okay? <laughs> what an amazing athlete.